the following video is a recap of the Ultra Unlock bonuses and Tortoise Community Day in Pokemon Go, including the release of Unova Pokemon. And welcome to Lewis's Adventures Place Pokemon Go with me, Lewis Marinucci, as your host. In this video, we'll be not only covering the Ultra Unlock bonuses, but we'll also be doing Turtwig Community Day and the anticipated release of the Unova Pokemon into Pokemon Go. Unfortunately, during the first week of Ultra Unlock bonuses, I did not hatch a single unknown. So far, week one of the Ultra Unlock bonuses, I didn't hatch any unknown, but during week two, I was able to hatch a handful of regionals, even though they are not shiny. And of course, I will also be covering Community Day as well, and then the final week with the first wave of Unova Pokemon released into the game. During the second week of Ultra Unlock bonuses, I was able to hatch regionals I already caught, but as you will see during Community Day, I was finally able to snag a shiny Tauros. We're on our way down to the Philadelphia Museum of Art for Tortoise Community Day. Stay tuned to see if I catch as many shiny Tortoise as I can. Tortoise Community Day was amazing. I caught 15 shiny Tortwig, plus I was able to catch a shiny Tauros, which you will see later in this video, and another shiny Magikarp for my pal, Pepperoni Pizza, who I will eventually give it to at another date, once him and I are best friends in the game. We finally did it. We finally caught one of the shiny regionals. It was a shiny Tauros. I just got lucky. 
during this community day. Also during community day, I was able to snag a shiny magic carp, which of course, that was one of the best community days I've ever had in my career as a Pokemon trainer. Final shiny count for this Tortwig community day, 15 shiny Tortwig, plus one shiny Tauros and a shiny Magikarp. Stay tuned as I will conclude this video with hunting for a possibly shiny Mewtwo once the Mewtwo unlock bonus is available and the main attraction, the first wave of Unova Pokemon. And the Unova Pokemon are now live in Pokemon Go. See if I finally catch as many of them as I can. It was lit when the Unova Pokemon finally launched into Pokemon Go. I was so excited to finally see all the brand new Pokemon originally found in the Unova region. And of course, after this clip, you're going to see my reaction to finally getting my first shiny from that region and Gen 5 all together. We finally got our first two Unova Pokemon, Lillipup and P-Dove. Stay tuned as I go search for others from the Unova region in this video. Uh, oh, a, sh a shiny pack rat, my first one, wow. We got ourselves a shiny pack rat. Now I need to get a, now I need to get a, a regular one. One, two, So far, this video is going great because the moment I clicked on my very first Pat Rat, it became a shiny. So that's my first shiny from the Unova region added to my collection and my Pokedex. I continue the search for more Unova Pokemon. As you see here, near the end of this clip, I find a Snivy, my very first Snivy in the game. And of course, it was amazing when I finally did.
Another new Pokemon has appeared nearby. Drillbur, I'm about to go find it and then catch it. See if I'm successful in doing so. And I finally did it. I finally caught my first Drillbur. Wait to see if I finally do my first Clink Raid. As I've been patiently waiting and waiting for one to, to hatch and spawn. When that happens, I will be sure to bring it to you here in this video. To close out this video, I was successful in getting my first clink, but it wasn't shiny. However, I don't care. If I get a shiny, that will come in a future video. In the meantime, I was thrilled to finally get my very first clink during this first wave of Unova Pokemon released into Pokemon Go. We finally did it. We finally caught Clink, our first one, even though it wasn't shiny. It was amazing to finally get our first new Pokemon in this wave released into Pokemon Go. And I close out this video by saying, thanks for watching, everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And remember, it's time for adventure.